listen to Talk of the Town with Henry Hinton. Everyone, why are we all standing around? Let's go. News, weather, sports, and of course, all the local info you need to start your day. You read my news. This is Talk of the Town with Henry Hinton. Please tell me this is some kind of sick, tasteless joke. On 103.7 WTIB, 94.1 WNBU, Cable 7 in Greenville. And now, listen or watch live at WTIBFM.com. Brought to you by Massey Toyota and Kinston. Experience the Massey difference at 1-800-NEW-MASSEY and MasseyToyota.com. Now, here's your host for Talk of the Town. I thought you were kidding! Henry Hinton. Okay, welcome in to Talk of the Town. It is uh, five minutes after the hour, hour two of Talk of the Town. This hour, we're going to focus on the uh, big event coming up Saturday on campus as we get ever closer to uh, football season. It's Meet the Pirates coming up Saturday. And uh, my buddy Megan Henschen from IMG is going to be here, and uh, Megan will give us all the details of what to expect, and uh, that'll, be, that'll be cool. Welcome in to uh, Talk of the Town. Again, for you uh, listening on 94.1 WNBU, we are now on from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. on uh, 94.1 in New Bern, Jacksonville, and Moorhead City. Still on the 7 to 9 every morning on 103.7. And I had a gentleman from uh, Moorhead City email me last night complaining about uh, not being able to listen between 7 and 8. If you, uh, Hey, we'd love for you to listen to our new talk show down there with Rayford uh, Brown and friends. But if you... Just have to get your 7 a.m. fix of uh, Talk of the Town. You always uh, have the, uh, the, the option of going to WTIBFM.com and listening online. Or you can go to uh, TuneIn Radio and bring up 103.7 that way. I listen to TuneIn Radio all the time. Seven minutes after, Heather King's here. Good morning, Heather. Hello. McGee is here. Good morning, McGee. Good morning. Meet the Pirates is coming up. We made the announcement earlier this morning that um, – we have a big-time uh, talk show host returning to Greenville to start a new show, a new sports talk show on 94.3 The Game on August the 25th. Patrick Johnson returns. You know, anytime you get somebody from the capital city to come back. And so uh, Patrick Johnson, who got his start here and has been uh, WPTF in Raleigh for many years and um, and is um, – it was at WDBO in, uh, in Orlando. If you know anything about radio, that's a big-time talk station, the FM talk station down in Orlando. <clears throat> and uh, Patrick is coming back. He's getting married this weekend. McGee and I are going to the wedding. I don't, you might not get invited. You might get thrown out after you're Oh, I've coming. already been invited. I'm going. No, no, huh? I'm going. I'll be there. And, um, yep. and, um, and then Patrick will start his new show. He's going to do a pigskin preview show with the P-Man. The, the P-Man Pigskin Preview is coming up on uh, Saturday, August 25th on uh, 94.3. The game broadcast live from Academy Sports. Opportunity for a lot of uh, uh, Patrick's old friends to come by and say hello to him. There won't be anybody left in Greene County. They'll all be coming out to see Portions the P-Man. Portions of Lenore. Yep. <laughs> Portions of Lenore County. Yep. <laughs> and Patrick will start his afternoon show. Uh, you know, and here we thought losing Josh Graham to Greensboro was going to be such a problem. And they were bringing pa- – not that we don't love Josh, but bringing Patrick Johnson back for a daily show every day at 5 o'clock on 94.3, the game starting on the 25th, 27th of August. So there you go. Uh, all right, so Megan will join us shortly, uh, nine minutes after. Uh, Forbes magazine is out, guys, with their list of the highest-paying jobs in America. And I got a shocker for you. We ain't on it. <laughs> oh, man. Wah, wah. <laughs> you want to hear them? From, list from 25 to 1, the top 25 highest paying jobs in America. So if you got a kid that's getting ready to go to college, you know, you need to pay attention to this list. Because, you know, if you want your kid to make a living... Whatever. Pay for you when you're older. Did you have to reboot the uh, Facebook Live, Michael? Oh, man. But you see if you can do that on my phone. I've never been able to figure out how to. So if, if, you, uh, if we reboot Facebook Live on my phone, see if you can figure it out. Okay, now, now, now the Bluetooth has come on in my hearing aid. And I can't. You guys dying. I'm hearing. I'm hearing the eight-second delay. You got to stop that. 
So stop it. All right, here you go. The top 25 highest paying jobs in America, starting at number 25, data scientist. The, um, the average uh, pay is 96116 uh, Number 24 is tax manager. Tax man adieu. <laughs> tax man. Because you're the tax man adieu. <laughs> You're the tax man, Adjur. Uh, making $90,000. $96,175. What is a tax manager, though? I mean, I know what a tax consultant is, a tax CPA. Some of these are vague. Number 23, being a cloud engineer. I have no idea what that is. I thought you were going to say clown, and I was really going to lose it. <laughs> $96,449. Just being your average run-of-the-mill attorney... You're number 22 on the list, and your average is 96678 Not bad. Most of the attorneys I know make more than that. I'd take it, though. Um, number 21, consulting manager, 97154 Number 20, scrum master. Okay, explain. What is that? <laughs> McGee, Google. I'm on it. Scrum master? Whoever they are, they make ninety eight thousand two hundred thirty nine a year, <laughs> average. Scrum master number nineteen, systems architect. Now we're, we're getting into all of these computer jobs. One hundred and one thousand. Um, number eighteen, strategy manager. One hundred and two thousand. Uh, number seventeen, data architect. These are all computer jobs. One hundred and two thousand. Number eighteen. Number sixteen. 16 financial planning and analysis manager. Now you know who you are out there. Average pay is one hundred and two thousand one hundred fifty-five dollars. What's a scrum master? It's it's techie. It's uh, someone that uses or manages the process for how information is exchanged. Huh. So whatever that is. Yeah. Scrum. It sounds fascinating. Number 15 highest paying job, according to Forbes magazine this year. Solutions architect. These are all computer jobs. But she, see, kids coming out of school, uh, high school, going into school, they need to know what these different things are because they're all making good money. Average pay is 102000 Number 14, IT program manager, 103000 Number 13, plant manager. Now we're getting to some things. I know what they are. 104,000. Number 12, applications development manager. 104. Can you imagine somebody like 100 years ago looking into the future and hearing this and going, what, what happened? <laughs> what happened to the world? Number 11, engineering manager. 105,000. Number 10, top paying job. In the country, software architect, 105. I don't know the difference between any of these. Number nine, nurse practitioner. Now we're talking in the top ten. My daughter's talked about going back and getting her degree in this. 107,000 average to be a nurse practitioner. So you folks in nursing school this morning, study hard. Number eight, software engineering manager, $108,000 a year. Number seven, a physician's assistant, $109,000 a year average. Nice. Who would have known? Really? That's what it says. $108,000, $761. And there are a lot of openings for them. There's, uh, like right now, there are 8,600 openings across the country wow. for a physician's assistant. You know, here's the thing. Those didn't exist 20 years ago. Did they? And now when you go to the doctor, you might well see a PA rather than see the doctor. And, you know, they, they don't have all the training, but they've got enough to be able to, you know, do well, office Well, you'll see the doctor, visit. but they do most of everything that, you know, the doctor would have normally no, there's done. Some, there, there's some places you go to the doctor, you'll just see yeah. the PA. You will not see the doctor. Right. I mean, that's the way it is these days. Yeah. Number six highest paying job in the country, software development manager, 109000 median uh, salary. Number five, corporate counsel. This is, uh, these are lawyers that work for companies. Obviously, if the company's big enough to have its own lawyer, then it's a pretty big company. Paying benefits is going to be pretty good. They're making an average of $115,580 a year. Number four, top paying job in the country, 
Enterprise Architect. Anybody? We'll pick you up. What is it? <laughs> $116,000 average. Number three, pharmacist. Oh, wow. Hey, the pharmacists are doing pretty good. Average of 127000 I don't think they make that, though, right out of school when they go work for Walgreens, do they? I don't know. I wouldn't think so, but I don't know. Number two highest paying job, pharmacy manager. $146,412. So if you manage a pharmacy, wow. you make I have family that manages a farm. A <laughs> there's, C? No, there's, there's no a C. It's just the farm <laughs> land. And the top paying job in the country today, according to Forbes magazine, anybody? Take a guess. What's What's been missing so far? Doctors. Doctor. Doctor. Yeah. Physicians. Average median salary base. For doctors today in this country, let me guess. Take, uh, take a guess. I'll say one hundred and thirty thousand dollars. Way low. Oh, Heather, anybody? One seventy-five. Way low. Two twenty. High. Okay. I'm sure there are a lot that make two twenty and more. Sure. The median is one hundred ninety-six thousand. About that. So if you're a, if you're a pharmacist, you're number three at one twenty-seven. Look at the jump. So that those extra years of, uh, of 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 education, paying off, baby. But doctors are making a lot of money today, making a lot of money, and I know some that are making five, six, seven times that. <laughs> if they're specialists or surgeons, they're doing a lot better than one hundred ninety-six thousand. I got news for you. Uh, all right, that was interesting, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here's something else interesting. So this morning I got up and um, I poured myself a box of uh, a, a bowl of raisin bran. As I'm sitting there eating the raisin bran, I'm looking at this story in the New York Times, where they have found traces of herbicides in Cheerios, what, and Quaker Oats. Hmm. A report says that they have found traces of a controversial herbicide in Cheerios and Quaker Oats. Uh, the story this morning in the New York Times, an environmental research and advocacy group has found traces of a, a controversial uh, herbicide in Cheerios, Quaker Oats, and other breakfast food and says it could increase cancer risk for children. Fantastic. The report comes from amid longstanding debate about the safety of the chemical glyphosate, glyphosate, which federal regulators maintain is not likely to cause cancer. In its report Wednesday, the Environmental Working Group said it tested 45 samples of breakfast foods made from oats grown in fields and sprayed with herbicides. Then, using a strict standard the group developed, it found elevated levels of glyphosate in 31 of them. Alex Temkin, the group's toxicologist who helps uh, with the analysis in the report, said, there are levels above what we would consider safe in some of the very popular breakfast foods. Now, I'm, I'm not trying to cause alarm. This isn't the New York Times. I mean, it's not like, you know, it's me anyway, but uh, that's got to be concerning, you know. And, I, and after reading that, would you give your kids Cheerios? I've been giving mine Cheerios every day for the past almost two years. So you, and, and how, how do you feel about it now that you've heard the story? Well, now I'll think twice about it. I'm going to read the story. Get some more information. Yep. That's crazy. That is crazy. You cannot mess with Cheerios. I know. Cheerio, <laughs> the honey no. nut, gluten free. The honey nut. Is what I need. But it, I guess it's come from the the oats the, the, when the, in the farm. They put this herbicide on the oats. Yeah. And I was glad I was eating raisin bran. <laughs> but you know, there's something in everything we eat, isn't there? Scary. Yeah. Something in everything we eat. I told a story the other day about a, a doctor friend of mine who said, you know, the, the world changed in 1948 when Kellogg started doing processed. They, they, the first uh, the first processed food ever in this country that was put on the shelf was cornflakes. Yeah. So, after that, everything's processed. Mm. Yeah. Uh, or you could just eat something raw, like this guy that the uh, Vegan Festival. Did you guys see this story? <laughs> this is uh, from Vice.com. Um, 
there, uh, there was a vegan festival going on this weekend in, uh, I believe, in California. Of course, this would be California. And this guy um, came up. McGee, I'm going to show you this video here. I, don't I would like for you video. to describe this video. I don't video. want to watch that video. So this guy, <laughs> this guy sporting a ponytail and a top tank that reads, Go Vegan and Die – Starts. He pulls out of his backpack a piece of raw meat, Ugh. literally dripping with blood. Oh my goodness! And starts eating it in front of all the vegans. <laughs> oh my goodness! Mm -mm. Mm -mm. He did it in the middle of the event, even with kids watching, because apparently all the toddlers with fully formed opinions on factory farming or whatever needed to be taught a lesson. So <laughs> I don't know why he did that in front of kids. Uh, so, uh, Yikes. attendees went to the cops and they were like, Hey, there's a guy eating raw meat. And the cops were like, Hmm, is that against the law? Right. <laughs> it's not against the law. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but he did it to ruin the festival. Well, he did it to yeah. ruin the festival. That'll do it. Uh, you want to see it, McGee? Look at this, McGee. No, I don't want to see McGee, it. McGee, I don't want to look at that. McGee, describe describe the axe. Oh, it's running down his face. Ooh, gross. Ooh, it's so gross. He's just standing around and talking to some guys and chewing on it. Swallowing. I'd rather talk about processed oats, and <laughs> Cheerios, and high that. paying jobs. Yeah. <laughs> With apologies to any of you that were eating breakfast this morning. Those They're last not two stories. Those last two stories weren't too good for you. Yeah. All right. <laughs> 21 minutes uh, after the hour. Let's get a break in. We're coming back. Uh, Megan Henson is going to join us from IMG. We're going to talk about Meet the Pirates coming up on Saturday night. But up next, Heather King with our local news update from the WITN. We'll be right back. Looking for red hot deals on a new Toyota? You'll find it at Greenville Toyota. Hot, hot, hot. Get our best deals of summer with clearance savings on hundreds of new Toyotas and deals you need to see to believe. At Greenville Toyota, where our volume saves you money. U.S. Cellular put towers where most others don't. So people can schedule a chiropractor visit out here. Or catch the game live way over here. Isn't that what you pay for? A stronger signal in the middle of anywhere. Visit Real Wireless, your local U.S. Cellular authorized agent in Ohoski, Williamston, and Windsor for the best deals in wireless and great service on a network that works in the middle of anywhere. Carolina's greatest hits play all day on 1079 WNCT. Don't stop in the morning. Carolina's greatest hits play here. WNCT. my lane? No, not at all. Are you not paying attention? Are you texting? I was just checking in with my mom. I was telling her that I thought we'd be home by six. It's okay. There's enough time. Just pay attention. I'm not even halfway through my text. There's no way. I'm not even going to look up. My babies are in the car. You have to pay attention. It's just supposed to be a quick text. I'm so sorry. This is the Pepsi that gets you stuff. Like tickets to... Who doesn't love Pepsi stuff? Drink Pepsi, get stuff. Greenville Toyota's deals are so hot, you need to see them to believe them. 
Get red hot savings on hundreds of new Toyota cars, trucks, and SUVs, including the extra value of our advantage. Now at Greenville Toyota, where our volume saves With you With the money. information you need to start your day, this is your news update on 103.7 WTIB and 94.1 WNBU. Good morning with your WITN News Update. I'm Heather King. Jurors returned to deliberate this morning the case of a man on trial for a gruesome murder. Carlton Davis is accused of killing Sheldon Prawl in Onslow County in 2013. The victim's dismembered remains were found in two tubs filled with cement in a Detroit, Michigan garage in 2014. Davis' sister was dating Prawl at the time of the murder. Davis did not testify and his lawyers presented no evidence. Some Craven County residents who get New Bern City water are being told to boil it after a water main repair. The city says that those who live in Taberna, Carolina Colors, Selhorn Heights, Creekside, Evans Mill, Gables Run, Longleaf Pines, Hardy Farms, and Blue Water Rise are experiencing low water pressure and no water pressure because of the repair. Water that's used for any human consumption should be boiled for a minute or use bottled water. The boil advisory will remain in effect until tests show the water is okay to drink. The move-in continues for ECU students in Greenville today. Wednesday was the first regular move-in day of the year, and more students will be arriving today and tomorrow. According to ECU, roughly 5,400 students are expected to move in this week, and the university expects more than 28,000 students on the first day of class. Pitt County Animal Services is participating in the nationwide Clear the Shelters event this weekend. On Saturday, shelters across the country who participate will waive adoption fees in an effort to get as many cats and dogs adopted as they can. At the Pitt County Animal Shelter, Director Michelle Willey says they've been at capacity for weeks now. She says research supports fee-waived adoptions. Pitt County Animal Services is the only shelter participating in the Pitt Greenville area. It's on County Home Road and will be open from 11 a.m. until 4 on Saturday. The Humane Society of Eastern Carolina is not participating. The group was mistakenly named on the Clear the Shelters website as a participant. Those are your WITN News headlines. Henry, back to you. Okay, yes. I need to put my earpiece on. I couldn't tell whether you were playing the jingle or not, Michael. All right, let's check our weather. Let's check uh, what's going on in the weather world. Here is McGee. All right, mostly sunny skies for today. A slight chance of an afternoon shower. Storm highs in the low 90s. Rain chance around 20%. For tonight, we'll see a lingering shower or two. Otherwise, clear and dry with lows in the middle 70s. For your Friday, the first day of the high school football season, hot highs in the low 90s. Heat index around 100 degrees. Could see a scattered afternoon shower or storm late tomorrow afternoon. And for your Saturday, a 40% chance of rain with highs in the low 90s. All right, news and weather, a service this morning of University PC Care in Greenville. Friends, is your iPhone broken? Do you have a problem with your iPhone? We all do. My wife certainly does. She drops hers and breaks it once a month. You need <laughs> if you have a problem uh, and you need same-day iPhone screen repair, University PC Care in Greenville can now do what typically used to take up to a week to get your iPhone repair because it had to be shipped to Apple for repair. But now it can be done right here in Greenville at University PC Care, uh, one of their uh, locations, of course, on uh, the one that I go. I, I guess they have the one on, um, on Fire Tower Road, right? Uh, one of the app, only Apple-authorized service providers east of Raleigh. You can rest assured that they are your best option for iPhone repairs that will not, avoid, that will not void your warranty to make a screen replacement appointment for your 6S or newer iPhone, here's the number to call to set it up, 558-1280, 558-1280, or visit universitypccare.com to learn more. University PC Care here in Greenville. Again, the location is on Fire Tower Road. Eventually, I will get it right, and I finally did. All right, it is a 29 after. Uh, I, I sense that Heather is going to leave us now. It's I been am. wonderful having you here this morning. Great to see you. Nice to see you. McGee? You're not going anywhere, are you? Not. That's awesome news to me. We'll take a break. When we come back, uh, we're going to have Megan Henschen is scheduled to be with us. Uh, Megan, of course, is uh, the uh, manager of IMG, and uh, she is going to tell us about what's going on this weekend on campus here at ECU after the big move-in. Notice traffic was a little heavy yesterday. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. You know, but it's... The smell of money, isn't it, here in Greenville? Yes. 29,000 students are back. <laughs> and uh, we're all going to be out at the stadium on Saturday night for Meet the Pirates. Come on back. We'll be right back. It's summertime here at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. We have a huge selection and hot deals on new Ram trucks 
and new Jeeps. It's the summer of Jeep. Lease a new 2019 Jeep Cherokee for only $279 a month with only $279 due at signing. Or lease a new Jeep Grand Cherokee for only $329 a month with only $329 due at signing. It's Carolina Crossing at Jeep. Across from the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. Come see us. Come see us. The purple and gold are back. Middle field, Trayvon Brown. 10 5. Touchdown, Pirate. Trayvon has done it again. Experience all the pride, passion, and tradition that is ECU football. It's all hands on deck for the 2018 season. Join the Pirate Club and purchase your season tickets today by calling 800 Dial ECU or visiting us online at ECUPirates.com.